YouTube, what's good, man? It's your boy Barbara Zay, and here we're gonna be getting into a quick introduction video before we get into the tutorial. That way, you guys can get an idea of who I am, who's behind the chair, who's behind the videos, and all that good stuff, man. Also, wanted to say thank you to everybody that has been uh, supporting your boy. And if you are new to the channel, go ahead and subscribe, man. I'd appreciate it. Follow me through this journey. We trying to do something big on here. You feel me? Um, but with all that being said, man, we're going to be getting into a high ball taper with some curls up on top. It's going to be a transformation, man. He came in with a whole bunch of hair, and we're going to get him right. But uh, without further ado, let's get into the video. What's good, YouTube family? We back with another video. So what we're about to do here is a high ball taper with some curls up on top. So here we're gonna be coming in with the pick. We're gonna be picking out all the hair. What this is doing is it's gonna elevate the hair off the scalp. So that way when you do come in with the clippers to take down some length, you'll get an all around even haircut. So here we're going to be coming in with the clippers, taking down about an inch or so all around the head, giving it a little bit of some shape and just cleaning all that up. So here I'm coming in with the two guard. And I'm just going to be doing some debulking all around the areas that I'm going to be working at. So like I was doing on the side of the head, I'm just gonna start debulking the back of the hair on the nape area where the taper is gonna be going at. Right here we're coming in with the same clipper we're going to be doing some debulking right behind the ear what that's going to do is going to give your taper that much more of a better look so here we're coming in to do the taper now we got our trimmers we're going to make our first initial guideline we're going to start from the corner bottom of the lineup and just go all the way across to the corner of the ear and just clean all that up So here we're coming in with our clippers and no guard all the way open. We're going to be making our next guide line and we're going to go about half an inch to an inch. And right after that you're going to come in and just erase that bottom line. So you're going to have the clipper all the way closed and attack that bottom line. You want to just attack into the, go up into the line and you want to flick out. You're gonna gradually open up that, that lever and just hit the rest of that line that may be there until it's faded out. So here we're gonna be coming in with the one guard all the way open and we're gonna make another guide line about half an inch to an inch. Closing that one guard and you're gonna hit right underneath that guideline you just made 
just to soften up that line down there. So you just want to come into that line and flick out. Come into the line and flick out. You're not really making another guideline. So here we got the 1.5 guard now. So here we're not going to be making another guideline. We're just going to be fading out into the longer hairs up on top. So you want to come in and flick out. Come in and flick out into those longer hairs up top. And then here right behind the ear, come in with that guard still and just clean up right behind that ear. You want to come in and flick out into those longer hairs. So then here we come in with the .5 guard and we're going to attack that bottom line that we did before with the one guard. You want to go closed and just barely come into that line and flick out. Go into the line and flick out. As you guys can see, I'm doing a little bit of some corner cutting just to hit those darker areas. I'm doing some lever play, so I'm opening it, closing it as needed, and just coming into those lines and taking out those darker spots. all the way open and we're gonna be doing some detail work right here we're just gonna be hitting all the darker areas with the corner of our clippers so it's all corner cutting right here so go in and attack those darker areas that you may see so here we get into the nape part of the taper we're going to be repeating the same exact steps we just did on the side taper, just in the back. So we're making our first initial guideline here with our trimmers, and we're just going to go ahead and bald all that out. So right after that guys, we're coming in with our Andy shavers. We're just going to clean up right underneath that guideline we made. This is just going to give your, your transition a nice pop and some longevity to your haircut. So here we're coming in with the no guard all the way open. Making another guideline about half an inch to an inch. And we're going to be doing the same exact steps we did on the side taper. So I'm not going to be doing too much talking on the back taper. I want you guys to just pay attention to my steps and how my fading process is doing and just uh yeah just pay attention to it man i'm gonna let you guys watch the video made it this far into the video just keep on watching you guys don't want to miss any of the steps that I'm taking to get this fresh ball taper
you guys don't already follow me on Instagram, man, go ahead and give me a follow at Barbara underscore. If you guys want to keep up with me throughout the days and the weeks, uh, you guys can see what I do on there. I pro I try to post pretty daily. So yeah, man, go ahead and follow me. coming in with the trimmers we're gonna go ahead and line up behind the neck and the ear area you guys want to take into consideration that this is just as important as a lineup so you don't want to go pushing your clients back back here um, so just try to keep that natural as possible So you guys also do want to remember to go in and clean up all around the neck area and the ear area. Get all those little hairs. This is going to make you stand out more as a barber from the other barbers. And not only that, man, your clients are definitely going to appreciate that. So here we're just going to follow up what we did with the trimmers, with our Andes shavers. What this is going to do is just going to make your taper uh, pop out that much more and just give your haircut uh, that much more longevity. So here we're going to be coming into the lineup part. What I'm going to be doing here is I'm going to be coming in with my clippers. I'm going to be taking down those longer hairs, those layover hairs that come over the lineup, as well as shaping up all around that area to the rest of the head. So right here, I put on that one guard all the way open. I'm just gonna be taking down those longer hairs around the edge up part. It's gonna give it that tapered look as well with uh, when you come in with the trimmer to line it up, you get a more crispier look. So here I'm coming into the edge up. I'm starting off on the middle. I'm gonna work my way over to the left. Here we're gonna repeat the same process to the right side. Start off in the middle, work our way over to the right. Trying to keep that lined up natural as possible. So here we're coming in with the straight razor. We're just gonna go uh, over what we just did with the trimmers, cleaning it all up, giving it that sharp look. Also, you guys want to remember to stretch out the skin when using the razor. You don't want to nick your clients. So here we're coming in with the curl sponge, and we're just going to give that curl effect. Get those curls popping. Alright guys, so this is the before look. My little cousin came in with that quarantine hair. It's all good. We got him back in the game. So this is the after guys. A nice high ball taper with some curls up on top. I hope this video helped you guys in any way, shape, or form. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, man. Depending on how you guys feel. I'm going to catch you guys on the next video. Peace.